chief economist Steve Moore. Steve, he's not helping Americans. What only about a third of people have college degrees. He's screwing all of the Americans who never went to college or paid their own way. But just focus on electric vehicles. By fiat or indirectly, this Biden administration is spending hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars to force Americans into electric vehicles, which enriches China and other nations and doesn't help the climate. <laughs> Well, there's a lot there, and let's just start by the fact I went to a, a new car dealer this weekend because we have to get a new car, and they kept pushing the electric vehicles on us because they don't have the other the cars that people want. You know, only less than one in ten of Americans want to buy electric vehicles right now, and so uh, they're running out of the gas-powered cars, and, and so they're trying to get everybody to buy electric cars at those high prices. And what's really offensive by those numbers you were just showing that the government's spending now hundreds of millions of euro my uh, tax dollars above what it costs for a gas car on those electric vehicles, we're already subsidizing the production of them. So we're subsidizing the production of these cars, we're subsidizing the batteries, and now the government's going to buy them up because no, no, no consumers want to buy them. It's, it's just a fiasco right now. And when you're talking about, for example, our Defense Department, which is really needs money so we can have a national security in this country and they're buying they're buying electric vehicles at almost in some cases fifteen thousand dollars more than it is for a comparable gas car i just think it's outrageous it's not just bad for the economy it's bad for our national security as well no 100 percent on that and you know what um i want to get your take on this because john Kerry wrapped up his four-day business trip to china but it seemed to be all about uh about uh coming up to an agreement on climate change however there was no agreement but for an agreement to just keep talking. And today, the Biden administration's approach to handling the CCP coming under fire as lawmakers held a hearing examining the president's strategy. How do you say that's working out, Steve, getting China to engage in climate change, but the agreement is only to just keep talking and have America move forward with more policies that cripple our economy as China continues to dominate? Yeah, you know, Sean, what is it that Donald Trump used to say that the, uh, the rest of the world is laughing behind our backs? Mm -hmm. And maybe they're not just laughing behind our backs, they're laughing in our faces right now. And no country more than China. I can guarantee you, China has one vision for the future. And that vision is to overtake the United States as the world economic superpower. And we need to make sure that that doesn't happen. And so when we're talking about climate change, I guarantee you, the, uh, the President Xi and the people in Beijing don't care one whit about climate change. They yeah. care about becoming number, number one in manufacturing, in construction, in semiconductors, and high technology, and we're playing right into their hands. AI. They are building scores of, as you know, Sean, you've reported on this, they're, what are they doing in their energy policy right now? They're building coal plants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're building coal plants and we're shutting down our coal plants. How's that going to save the environment? How's that going to save the, the polar bears? Shutting down, we're not shutting down our coal plants, we're shutting down our natural gas plants, trying to go to all windmills and solar panels. It's that idiotic. Too. So, Steve Moore, always yeah. great. Thanks uh, for coming on The Bottom Line. We appreciate it. Good to see you. All right. You guys are having too much fun tonight. And that was a great <laughs> no, interview I'm mad. with Jim Jordan. That guy is a superstar. He is. He's, <laughs> no, he, listen, I'm angry. He's, I'm always, he's always spot on. He was great. He's doing good work. All right. Thanks, Thank Steve Moore.